We're sitting in Madras with Desika Char, author of The Heart of Yoga. And I'd like to ask you, Mr. Desika Char, um, how did you initially find yoga? I know it came from your household, but how did you personally find it? <laughs> yes, uh, I was a very reluctant starter. Uh -huh. It is in my house, sure. I was not interested until uh, something extraordinary happened. Uh, in 1961, early in the morning, one day, in our small house, one lady appeared, a lady from New Zealand actually, and she asked for uh, the professor of yoga. And I was looking around, who was that professor of yoga? Soon my father appeared, here I am. And uh, before I knew what was happening, my father was hugged by this lady from New Zealand, a traditional Brahmin, was hugged on the street by this New Zealand lady. Hundred times she's saying, thank you, professor, thank you, professor. So I was curious what was happening between this uh, uh, pretty looking uh, New Zealand lady and my father who was already about eight years old. Then he told me what he did. He said she was having sleepless nights for twenty years and he taught her yoga and it cured her insomnia. That did it and I got interested into it. I got hooked into yoga since then. Huh. So uh, initially you had a more Western scientific bias or training? Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, uh, you know, uh, probably uh, too much familiarity or something. Uh, I was not interested in these things. <laughs> so I am an engineer by training. I was always looking for science and the science is in the West. And uh, I had no idea that something interesting was happening in my home. <laughs> uh, until I discovered, thanks to this lady, I am very grateful to this lady, K. Malvin, who is still alive, 80 strong, ah. Wellington. Well, n now that you're, you're uh, going to be publishing The Heart of Yoga, what do you hope the book can offer? What, what do you hope it brings to people? Yes, uh, my travel all over the world has uh, revealed there is a great interest in uh, everyone searching for something. Everybody searching for something. And there are typically today fast answers. You have solutions for everything. Enlightenment in two days, stress management, resolution in one day. And I thought something must be done a little more seriously. And I expect that this book will make a person look at this search rather seriously. Uh, so you're looking to give a more substantive approach yes. and show the depth yes. and uh, yeah. of this tradition. Many people have been disappointed also because things have been offered so fast. Things are not so fast. No. takes time. I'm sure this book, Heart of Yoga, will open this question in the minds of the readers.